Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and in today's video we will be doing a quick run through of the 6th Arma Reforger dev blog. This dev blog talks about update 0.9.5.9, the update that was delayed and then released this week on June 29th. This dev blog also covered some of their plans for the future, so really without any more delay, let's just get right into this. <laughs> To start off real quick with a summary, I'd like to explain everything that was changed in this week's update, update 0.9.5.9. To start off, we had another minor fix to vehicles, as an issue with network replication was causing vehicles to jump forward and back, and as well as causing them to create broken dust and exhaust effects. This issue has been fixed, and hopefully cars feel better in this new update. Next, they optimized the amount of network data that is used when moving quickly throughout the world, and added in and improved the logging of any replication network issues. This improved logging should help them identify further crash and network issues, allowing them to fix them faster and really without as many reports. We also got some AI fixes. AI will no longer fail to open doors that they are too close to, and will no longer be able to see through smoke on dedicated servers. When ordering AI, you will not be able to place a waypoint or faction objective in the sky anymore. And, when giving orders to those AI in Game Master, there will be more spacing between these orders, allowing for AI to have a more natural feeling when moving from one objective to another. In conflict, they moved a spawn point in quarry, so AI will no longer spawn inside walls. Game Master also got a new feature as they added a new Clear Destroyed Entities toolbar action, which deletes all dead soldiers and destroyed vehicles in one click. In regards to mods, they changed it so if you hover over a server, any mods that that server requires will begin to download. This is to help prevent any crashes that were being caused from having missing mods. Along with this, they made it so mods will show when a mod update is available without you having to open the mod detail page to check. This is something they've been working on fixing for some time now. In regard to general gameplay, we got some minor changes. They tweaked the right foot hitbox to fix, apparently, its misconfigured damage, so that's cool. And along with this, they increased the damage of the fragmentations from grenades, which I'm all here for. This update also brought the notification layout change that was talked about in the previous dev blogs, as they have tweaked the pop-up notification layout with its size, color, transparency, and frequency, all getting changes to make it less intrusive. And along with this, they also removed some of the more redundant task notifications. All in all, task notifications should not really be breaking immersion as much or as hardly as they were before. Along with all this, they also fixed several potential crash sources that were in the game. That's all that came with the update, meaning we can head back over to the rest of the dev blog. Starting off, they reiterated that their utmost goal right now is to fix network issues and connection stability. Next, the 32 player servers have been launched as a test on Xbox. These are a few of the official test servers and those are already out, but they will begin collecting feedback and data from these test servers and each region and each instance to try and you know, make the system more clean and actually work um, over time. But it is going to be something that's very buggy for the moment. In the short term, they are working on fixing the collision of the task lists and the map controls, as well as improving building uh, when doing composition so items don't block construction in things like Conquest. They closed out the dev blog with a mention of the Comrade post that they released, which was a pretty cool collection of community content for the game. One last thing to close out, me and Bobo are launching our own Capture and Hold Discord. If you don't know what Capture and Hold is, it is a mod for Reforger that is uh, much more ta like much more fast paced, uh, much more just straight up shooting. Um, we noticed that the servers are completely dead for the game mode, and we really just want to be able to play it ourselves. So we're going to be launching a Discord for other people who feel the same way. If you're interested, please check the description and we'd love to have you. But that's really all I've got for you this week. I'm excited to see what we get in next week's update, but really until then, this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.